Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Nine of Legion. Let's play some more of The Witcher 3, Blood and Wine. The, uh, well, the Hansa base has been dealt with. That was a pretty successful episode last time. We uh, managed to, well, kill everyone. Uh, again, we killed like 50 people. It was a, it was a bloody, it was a bloodbath, I swear to God. Uh, we murdered, we murdered a lot of people in there. Um, but they were bad people, so it was okay. They deserve to die. Uh, what am I running into? Oh, probably a pack of wolves. Do I want to run into a pack of wolves? Not really. So, our plan for this episode is, now the hands base is dealt with, we've only got a couple more things I want to check out, really, before we finish the game. Some undiscovered locations up here, what looks like a couple of caves and monster nests. Uh, one last hands base up there, we will definitely deal with that. And then I think pretty much we're done. Maybe these ones, if I feel like it, but at some point we need to go back. There is another quest here which we could pick up. That might be something interesting. Yeah, I might do that. Uh, and then, yeah. Down here, we need to speak to the boot black and just find out who the fifth victim of uh, the assassination plot was. Who was the beast's last target going to be? We still don't know their name, although I do have my suspicions. But for now, let's do Witcher stuff and go hunt monsters. Because uh, there are plenty of monsters about in these uh, hills. Both human and non-human, I must say. Alright, uh, I feel like I've gone slightly the wrong direction here. But it's fine, I can get back up here, can't I? Maybe. Fine. Gelt, Gelt can climb slopes. He can... Gelt can climb more than a 45 degree slope. It's fine. He's got really good quads or something. I don't know. What was that? Okay, I can hear something on the wind, but... Ooh, down there, maybe? I'm not sure where that sound is coming from. It's something sibilant. All the way down there. What is that? There's a... Uh, what is that? That's a bear or something, I think? That's... Or a big mountain cat. Okay, that's probably nothing I need to worry about. That is also what is not not what is making the noise over here. There is something growling in these woods. I am curious, and have a death wish apparently. So we're gonna go. Oh, hello. Okay, it's on the minimap. It's not. It's not showing up as a monster. I feel like this might be another slizzard though. Let's see. What have we got? Oh, I just caught a. Oh, it's got wings. It's definitely got wings. Doesn't look like a slizzard though. They're grey. What are you? Oh, oh. Okay, it's definitely draconid though. Uh, oh, so level forty wyvern. Okay. I will have at you, my friend. Okay, I want to actually set you on fire there, so I kind of screwed that up. But eh, it's fine. All right, you want to play this game? We can play this game. I have a crossbow. That was not the crossbow. That was not the crossbow. Whoops. Why is there a sheep around here? I can hear a sheep somewhere. There we go. Okay, the beast is down. Whew. Okay, we, that was all working well up until the point where I confused a bomb with a crossbow. These are the kind of things that happen in computer games that would never happen in real life. No one's ever going to grab a bomb and think, Hey, this crossbow is going to come in handy. But unfortunately, computer games and real life are different. Which is why I'm able to go fight giant monsters. You know, obviously that is not something I do in real life. Okay, this is another undiscovered location. Uh, that looks like people, so I'm going to guess it's bandits. Is that a gibbet hoisted over a fire? Ah, oh, dude, come on. I mean, there's being bandits and there's just being douchebags. Yep, bandit camp. Okay, really slow getting down that hill there. That was kind of problematic. Uh, did you guys not hear about how I just murdered everyone in the Hansa base? Just to be clear. Ow! Okay, look. Dude, I'm right next to you. Stop hitting me with bloody arrows. I want to take out these archers because they are always a problem for me. You can't be blocking arrows all the time when you're not trying to avoid being set on fire and all that kind of stuff. Hey! Got down the two-handed guy. You're down. Come on, finish him off for me. You 
I'm done. Did so much damage I couldn't even see the numbers. You're done, and you... Yes, lots of blood, my friend. I'm going to shoot you with my crossbow, just because you're annoying me by standing there. That was a bomb! What? I definitely have the crossbow selected, though, I swear. When did I deselect the bombs? What is going on here? Okay, you could move out of the fire. I mean, you don't have to, but... <laughs> circle him! Circle him! You're all on your own. Who's going to circle me? And You've only got one arm now. That's just not going to work out for you. I don't know, these people... Not the, the best trained bandits. I guess we killed all the best trained bandits up there in the hands base. Okay, well that was a very easy undiscovered location. Let's grab all their stuff, because, you know, they don't need it anymore. Also, we do have a merchant nearby, so if I do get over-encumbered, I can just sell all this pretty quick and easy. Okay, thank you. Right, anything else here? What have you got? You must have something special. That's not... Okay, stop picking up all the crap. I'm doing the thing again where I pick up all the crap. What have we got here? Oh, a journal written on Salhide. And a couple of hundred crowns, and a bunch of... Actually, not a bunch of not bad stuff. Another journal, though. Uh, day one, Philibert. He's the dude I just killed up in the Hansa base. Philibert sent us to collect supplies from the Basane farm. I stayed with most of the lads in camp, as always, and got a few to go strike a deal with the steward. Hubert Durette's a reasonable chap. Never gave us trouble about taking supplies before, so it seems we're in for an easy job. Not like hunting flying monsters or lying in wait for caravans coming down the road. Day 2. Nikolai and Pablo Gaff have not returned. Something stinks and it's not my foot wraps. I'm taking charge and leading group to see what's going on. If those peasants at Bassein have done something to my men, I'll reduce that farm to mouldering ashes. Day 3. The farm has been demolished, but no sign of Pablo or Nikolai. We only found two hayseeds. I'll take them back for questioning. Both howl like madmen and mumble constantly about some werewolf. They'll cool their hills in a cage for a while, maybe get more talkative, and where the bum blazes are my men. Interesting. Now we have got an undiscovered location somewhere nearby that does involve a werewolf. So I'm going to guess these two things are related. We haven't actually been back to that one for a while because I didn't want to fight the werewolf. Because it was a giant werewolf, alright? I don't have to fight every giant werewolf I see. Uh, but it sounds like we might need to. So, where's the next undiscovered location and is it going to be the werewolf? Ah, that might be it. Bassane Farm. Yeah. I've kind of been ignoring it, because I kind of forgot, but I think that might be it. I think that's where the werewolf is. Right. That would make sense, given what they just said. Okay, let's check out this undiscovered location. I won't loop around this way. That way we will end up at the signpost, which will help us get all the way back up to here. Okay. Onward, and as usual, downward. Ooh, it's a nice misty morning, actually. I do like the variation in weather we have here. Ooh. Uh, pack of wolves. Uh, we'll go around. And it's not like they're a danger to me at this point. It's just kind of annoying to have to fight a whole pack of wolves. There's there's enough of them that they will get some hits in. And it will just eat up time. So let's just try and work our way around. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Right. We have you... I think there's something else moving down there. I'm not sure. That might just be a plant blowing in the wind. Okay, I think it's just a plant. Okay, so we've got another Draconid. Interesting. That must be the undiscovered location. So it's a monster nest, I'm guessing. Okay. Well, that's not a problem. I mean, we just fought one of these. Technically, no one's paying me for this one, so I probably shouldn't fight it, but... You know, I'm here. It's a monster. Oh, Christ. And it's also coming right at me, so... Do that. Oh, it's a fork tail. I haven't fought a fork tail for a while. Uh, how about how do you feel about Igni? Not good. Great. That that was uh, pretty quick and pretty easy there. Can't complain about that fight. Cool. You're down. And where's your nest? Over over here somewhere. You've got a pile of rubbish. Why? Are you a magpie? Why have you got such a pile of rubbish? Got any good stuff here? Hunk of nickel. Okay. Boots. Okay. That's weird, but fine. Yeah, that looks to be it. Where's your actual nest, my friend? Oh, that? Oh! Dragonid nest. Need to destroy it's a it. tiny rubbish nest, my friend. You, uh... Were clearly not the best. Giant flag lizard. Okay, 
grab everything out of that. Right, onwards and downwards. What have we got else? Uh, that cave over there, we've got that there. There's a building and some kind of stuff here as well. Uh, no, let's keep on, let's go to that custom marker. I will check out the lake in a moment though, because there might be something interesting there. Not everything gets marked on your map. The Blessure Forest, okay. I probably already knew that, but I've just forgotten it, probably. Uh, now, okay, yeah, these ruins. We have been to these ruins before. That cave isn't marked as if I've gone into it, but I'm pretty certain I have, because... Well, let's have a look. Have I been in here? Oh, yeah, I've definitely been in here. And we've looted the crap out of this place already, haven't we? Yes, we have, apart from those mushrooms. Because I just, I probably have about 5,000 mushrooms on me right now. Okay. Right, that is not a problem. We've got a pack of... Oh, no, we've got a herd of deer. That's fine, they can just keep doing what they're doing. Okay, we do definitely have a monster den over there, though. Let's go check that out. I feel kind of guilty for doing these monster dens, because, again, I'm not being paid for them. And as a witcher, you know, doing work when I'm not being paid for it is not the ideal, but... Meh. Sometimes a witcher's just got to go witch, even if no one's going to pay the witcher to witch. Okay, what kind of monster den are we talking about? Okay, it's definitely underground. And fairly numerous. There's a half dozen of them there, at least. So, underground, half dozen of them. Near water. I mean, it could be anything, actually. One of them must be fairly nearby because he's showing up. Oh no, no, he's disappeared. Okay. Maybe they can burrow. Maybe like Neckers or something? Haven't we, have we seen any Neckers in the DLC? I'm not sure. Oh, and there we go. Okay, we have a... Okay, we've got to drop down here. I think I did come across this before and was like, you know what? Don't feel like dropping down here today. This day, however, today, I do feel like dropping down here. Okay, they're all down below, kind of scattered around. Uh, it is kind of dark in here. I do apologise. Uh, can we get a torch out? I guess we can. That might help a little bit. Wolves, what? Why are there... You can't have a monster nest of wolves? That's not how monster nests work. What? Okay. Uh, can I... Ah, shoot, I don't need more bombs. Uh, I'll tell you what, prob... There we go. Let's start off, Let's start this fight off right by just throwing a bomb in them all. Actually use lock-on for once, which is something I never do. Okay, that might be my most successful wolf fight ever. Just want to point that out quickly. At Northern Wind. Actually using lock on for once, which I almost never do because I find it I find it very makes multiple group fights really difficult. But hey, that actually did work. Okay, there's still something down there that's not moving. Uh don't care about any of that. We'll take that. Uh, yeah, I'll take all of that actually. Uh okay, pack of wolves. Why wolves? Wait, hang on. Wolves underground a monster den. I'm thinking werewolf. I'm thinking there's a werewolf around this corner. That would be an interesting find. Let's see if I'm right. Let's actually get that torch back out so people can actually see what we're looking at. Which right now isn't much, I'll be honest. You are quite far around that corner. We've got a ledge up there as well. I've got a bunch of supplies and stuff. Take that. Thank you. Okay, people have been storing a whole bunch of stuff down here, haven't they? Okay, whatever's in here is just round that corner. Oh, I can see like an ear moving. Interesting. Uh, screw it, let's be brave. What are you? Werewolf! Yeah! Knew it! My instincts were absolutely correct. You know what? One-on-one, -on -one, I will lock onto you, my friend. 
Uh, which actually means I might be actually be able to get some bombs off properly. Okay, no, apparently not. Even when I lock on, I can't throw a bomb to save my life. Jesus Christ, okay, the timing on that was just bad all around. Okay, we got some good hits in there. Ow, okay, you got some good hits in there. I'll give you that, I'll give you that. Let's get some Thunderbolt going. Yeah, I don't like how the camera spins around. I want control of my camera. Okay, he's starting to heal. Uh, no healing. Burning, please. Ow. Ow. Christ. Okay, you got some really good hits in there. Stop healing up, you douchebag. Yeah, there you go. Heal from that, friend. Werewolf mission and some saliva. Okay, well, we knew there were werewolves around. Uh, we know there's actually one in a nearby village, and we had seen other mentions of them. Uh, you were eating a sheep, which is lovely. Uh, even though he was a very low-level werewolf, I took a lot of damage from that guy. I could have prepared better for that, actually made sure I had all my bombs ready, could have made sure I had the decoctions ready, could have made sure I had my anti-werewolf oil on my blade, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I just kind of went for it, because I figured he was going to be low enough level that I didn't have to worry about it too much. Okay, you have some decent stuff for a werewolf down here. Not going to take all of it, because obviously some of that is fairly rubbish. Gazelle Jurat's Journal and a diagram for Geshift. Okay. Uh, and a bunch of money, some Florence. Okay, I'm going to take all of that. Another journal. We've done so much reading in the last couple of episodes. Many pages of the journal are filled, but the last is dirtied and written in a chaotic hand. It is done. Countess de Sacor has been brought to Bassane Farm, and after so many happy years, we have to leave our comfortable abode. When Hubert received the eviction notice, he flew into such a rage it took a great deal for me to calm him. I explained it was already a miracle. We had been able to live so long among men. I fear Hubert will prove unable to control his transformations while he is in such a state. We have moved into a cave in the Bleshaw Forest. They allowed us to take a few possessions from the farm. We have a bed, a table and some candles. Things aren't so bad. The cave is a bit damp, true, and one night in I can already tell will play havoc with my joints. Hubert had an attack when he heard me cough. He screamed he would return to the farm and sink his teeth into the Countess. I have a bad feeling. Hubert has disappeared, I'm terrified. Shivers run down my spine, I can taste blood in my mouth. I fear Hubert has gone off to kill. What will become of us if he loses all control? The remaining pages are torn out, claw marks visible on the back cover. So there were two werewolves living together in the uh, estate up there, but when New York convinced arrived they were kicked out and this, well, infuriated one of them, but also forced them in down into these caves, and they both lost control. Oh, that's really sad. I wasn't expecting that at all. So yeah, two beds, they were both trying to live down here, trying to just not be savage werewolves all the time, but... They got kicked out of the farm, where we're probably going to next. And that kind of tipped them over the edge. Interesting. That is... That is kind of sad. I mean, if they were managing to live among men without problems for so long. And then just to get evicted. I mean, note yourself, probably not a good idea to evict werewolves. You know, let's be honest. Uh, we did take a couple of hits in that fight, and I do need to replace my bombs, so let's do that. Get some meditation going, get our health and bombs back. And I guess we want to go to... Bassane Farm and deal with that last werewolf. So, uh, this episode is running on a bit. I probably won't do the fight this episode, but let's get eyes on the estate. Just make sure it is the right one I'm thinking of here. We came across it before, we could see there was a werewolf surrounded by corpses. But every time we've come past it previously, we were kind of in the middle of something else, so... I uh, I left it alone for the time being. And that's actually worked out to our advantage, because now we actually know what's going on here. Those two werewolves were living as humans, kind of squatting here on this estate, until new tenants arrived. And then they were kicked out. And one of them lost control. Of the, I'm not angry at being kicked out, but angry at the conditions they were forced to live in. There he is. There's the werewolf. Um, probably eating the corpse of the Countess, I'm going to guess. Okay. 
we're going to have to deal with him next time because he has lost control and is going to have to be put down. But that's one for next time. So I'm going to take a break here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying all this. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you are. And hopefully I'm going to see you later on for the next one of these. Bye.